Here to shoot the breeze? How are you, Dusty? That's fine, Dusty. I never considered anything else. My parents were miners too. I've been learning the trade since I was old enough to dig. The longest I've spent above ground was the year and a half I served in the UC military during the colony war. That was more than enough for me. I prefer to keep my boots full of dust and my pockets full of credits. Less trouble that way. No, I don't. I only ask as many questions as I need to get my job done. I had no idea it was dangerous. I've seen skeletons the size of starships, buried in sheetrock, and crystals that release a toxic gas potent enough to kill you through your suit. Once I was part of a job that unearthed an entirely new species of cave-dwelling insects, you never know what you'll find when you break ground. Rocks are good at keeping secrets. No. Whatever that thing was, it's the only one I've ever seen. I'm glad it's not my problem anymore. And I'm glad you bounced back from it. Losing a miner is never easy. If you insist. I did. I know I don't seem like the military type. Like most people, I was less practical when I was young. I was a drill sergeant. <laughs> you don't seem surprised. I have a firm hand and a knack for getting the best out of people. The UC saw that and put me in charge of training new recruits for combat. I was talked into it. Someone I loved felt called to serve, and he asked me to join him. Only one of us walked away from the war, though. I was only in the military for a year and a half. I spent the rest of the war underground, mining materials for the UC to turn into ships and bullets. Well, I lost someone dear to me in the war. I'm as strict as I need to be, to make sure my workers' families don't have to go through that too. Mining can be as dangerous as combat, you know. There's a good reason why I've held on to old habits. It was my husband. The love of my life. He was killed just a month before the armistice. No, we didn't. I was stationed at the recruiting center on Jemison, and he served on the front lines. He was a crewman aboard one of the UC's largest ships. He used to tease me about how much more exciting his service was than mine. He always hated being stuck in cities for too long. The transport vessel he was aboard was shot down by the Freestar Collective. Hundreds of lives lost. That's the cost of peace. My husband was proud to serve the UC. He served honorably. And I'm proud of him for it. I only wish I'd gotten to say goodbye. Thank you. It was never quite the same after he died. Sure. His name was Manuel. He was a miner, like me. We were stationed at the same outpost for a few years, and we had the same supervisor. He was a better man than most. Honest, kind-hearted, and even-tempered. I've never felt more at peace than I did when I was with him. Losing him was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Damn colony war. Five years. Then we were married for most of it. I knew he was right for me after our first conversation. And I'm not the type to waste time. 
I can still remember the look on his face when I asked him to marry me. <laughs> Do I seem like the motherly type, Dusty? No. We never had children of our own. Manuel has a daughter named Miranda, but she was already a teenager when we got married. She lives in New Homestead with her family. We aren't very close, but I try to see her every time I pass through the soul system. Heartbreaking doesn't even begin to describe it. Manuel was absolutely everything to me. Losing him shook me to my core. I've never been the same. Manuel was my greatest joy. When he died, he took most of my happiness with him. I couldn't handle the heartbreak. So I threw myself into work. I barely looked up from a cut of years after that. I figured if I kept my head down and my workers safe, that eventually I'd get over the loss. But it's like I said, time doesn't heal everything. I believe I was only ever meant to love one person. I still hate waking up without him. I was with the other officers at my base when a report came through about one of our ships being destroyed. I recognized its name from Manuel's messages. It took a few days before the casualty reports started coming through. But by the time one of the officers came to console me, I already knew he was gone. Space battles don't tend to leave many survivors. Hmm. I don't think so either. I don't know if distracting myself instead of finding a way to move on was the right choice. That's the trouble with aging. The more of it you do, the more foolish your younger self looks. <laughs> if it is time to move on, then leaving Argos was a good first step. I don't have as much to worry about out here. I'll see you later. Do you need me for something?
What can I help you with? Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. I'm all ears. Am I ready to hop into a ship and explore the galaxy with you? More like, are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. Checks out. Landing initiated. You know those nightmares people have when they dream they're naked when they didn't intend it? You're awake. Right now. So... Captain, do you require my assistance?
looks abandoned. Suddenly abandoned. Not liking that. Salvager, maybe? Looks like this just happened relatively recently. Well, they don't need it now.
So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Oh, I've been better. But I think bleeding out is at least off the table. What I really need, though, is someone who knows their way around a weapon. So, if you wanted to tell me I'm heavy infantry and I've come to bring you the gift of ordnance, I wouldn't mind in the least. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. Oh. Just perfect. Sure. Why not? I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. Other than a stark reminder that nature isn't our friend? You're not wrong. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock. Or toys. <laughs> They're creatures without peer. <laughs> Makes two of us. But this creature, I need to understand what it's doing here. To do that requires a tissue sample from it, and to get a sample, I need its corpse. But we're not without resources. This plant it's got an automated security system. Though getting things online, as I've discovered, is not a one-person job. The admin terminal in this building needs its connection reset. And to do that, someone has to get to the security outpost. Across the compound. Not a far walk, but a risky one. You think you might be willing to lend me a hand? Admin access is centralized to the terminal in this room. Nothing's coming back online if I'm not here. But even if that weren't the case, I'd likely be more of a liability out there than a help right now. It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. And there were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample.
All yours. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. Wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Trackers reading green. talking about hot damn think we could get it stuffed Would look awesome at the lodge next to that ship model
May as well, right? Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Heavens above, you just flatlined a terror morph! <laughs> oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Not doing this one out of the goodness of your heart, huh? I'll give you what I can. You certainly deserve it. Forewarning, though, I'm not exactly New Atlantis royalty. A lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on a ship. Then we could start getting some answers about this thing. So, did you manage to nab one? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. model. Okay, let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. Some say they're demons. Others claim they're a witch's curse. 
or ghost's revenge. But the science is going to lead us to the real reason. I just know it. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. And they have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. You're right. We don't have enough information. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors, see if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. anything worth selling or using?
looks abandoned. Suddenly abandoned. Not liking that. I have something for you. I'm listening. Hmm? 